What's going on guys? Welcome back to another stellar video. Now today is Tuesday, October 27th, meaning that Halloween is, um, Halloween is in four days. Four days until Halloween and I have done literally nothing to prepare or celebrate whatsoever. I don't have a costume, I don't have candy, I don't have anything. However, I'm gonna try to make Halloween fun and make a video about it. So I went on Google and I found an article called 15 Fun Quarantine Halloween Ideas for a Festive Social Distanced Holiday. So a lot of fun things that people like to do on Halloween are not going to be possible this year. Um, because apparently there's some like virus going on or something, I don't know. So let's look at this article. This Halloween has the potential to be epic. The holiday falls on a Saturday, which means we get an entire day of candy, costumes, and crafts. I mean, isn't that every Halloween? Don't we have a full day of Halloween? Literally every single Halloween, it's a full day. Or maybe they mean that because some people don't work and go to school on Saturday. I don't know. There will even be a full moon. So spooky. That said, there are a few things that will set Halloween 2020 apart from all other years. Most notably the coronavirus pandemic and everything that comes with it. But just because we need to remain socially distanced this year doesn't mean Halloween is cancelled. It just means we need to brainstorm creative quarantine Halloween ideas. So this article gives 15 things that you can do while you are quarantined and you still want to celebrate Halloween. Number one, go ghosting. Um, I thought ghosting meant like not looking at someone's texts, like not responding to them. But apparently, it means creating a bag of treats or goodies for a friend or neighbor and leaving it on their doorstep with a note inside to pass it on. I'm not gonna do that. Play a Halloween game. Make a spooky snack. And some spooky sweets. Do a tarot card reading. Put on a Halloween playlist. Watch a Halloween movie or special. Attend a trick-or-treat parade. Make a fall craft. Decorate, host a virtual party, paint your kids' faces, mix a spooky cocktail. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that one. Go on a family bike ride or walk. Deliver festive treats to loved ones. So for this video, I'm gonna take into consideration some of the things that were on that article, and also just some other stuff myself, and I'm gonna put that all into to, to one to one little thought bubble, and I'm going to make uh, a list of things to do in the last four days before Halloween. I'm gonna do a, a bunch of stuff, and that's what the video is gonna be. Me, me doing stuff. Yay. Okay, so here's the list. Number one, I need to figure out what I want to wear as a Halloween costume. Number two, I need to get slash create the costume I came up with in number one. Number three, I need to get candy. Number four, I need to play a Halloween-themed game while listening to Halloween-themed music. See, I'm doing two different things in the article at once. Pretty cool, huh? I need to do some Halloween decorating of any sort, and I also need to do some sort of Halloween craft. Number seven, I need to get my dog a Halloween costume. You may or may not know. My dog, Daisy, she's a pretty cute dog. Um, you may or you may may if you if you watch some of my videos, you may know her, you may not. She's a pretty cute dog. And goal number eight, I need to say the word boo on Halloween day. Um, I think that's gonna be the hardest one of them all. So I've introduced you to the topic of the video. I've introduced you to all of the things I have to do in these next four days. Um, so, so let, let's do them. So number one on the list was to figure out what I wanted to wear as a Halloween costume. Since I couldn't come up with any ideas of what I wanted my costume to be, I decided to head to Spirit Halloween to see what they had for Halloween costumes. There were so many costumes at the store, I couldn't decide what I wanted to get. Did I want to dress up as a shark? Did I want to dress up as a creeper from Minecraft? Or dress up as a Super Smash Bros character? Did I want to dress up as an LOL surprise diva? Or did I want to dress up as Donald Trump? Did I want to dress up as a clown? Did I want to dress up as a Fortnite character? You know, I thought that this Fortnite character might be the worst costume of them all. But then I looked up and saw 
saw that they had a dog emoji as a costume. That's the worst one. Then I made my way to the hair section and had so many decisions on what kind of hair I wanted to have with my costume. Did I want to be bald? Or did I want to be a 70s man with a mustache? Perhaps green spiked hair. Did I want to have Donald Trump or Joe Biden hair? After all of this searching and looking around the store, I finally came up with the perfect Halloween costume. I am going to be, drum roll please, a bald yellow man. I am going to be a bald yellow man. So I bought the bald cap. Yeah, that one. And while I did forget to film it at the store, I did buy a yellow mask. So I'm going to have a yellow face, and I'm going to be bald. I think that this is the best idea for a Halloween costume that I have had yet. And yes, I am including the time I was a pineapple. So now that I have told you about my costume, it's time to put it on. Really, really, really cool transition. Hi, so this is my costume. It's very easy to breathe in this. It's also not sweaty, and my voice sounds perfectly normal through this. Uh, my bald cap looks real, and overall, just an amazing costume, an amazing decision, um, and a very good use of $12. So I'm also going to take into account number three on this list, which is I need to get candy. So while I was out and about today, I decided to go to the store and buy some candy. And for this part, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, um, take off the bald cap. I know, really, really sad. And I'm also going to have to take the mask off, so that's kind of unfortunate. Did I want to get Sour Patch Kids? Did I want to get Russell Stevens chocolate, which is way too fancy for me? Did I want to get Twizzlers? Or did I want to get these very, very awful and just annoying um, signs? Or did I want to get candy corn? Spoiler alert, I got candy corn. So yes, yes, I got candy corn. Everyone's favorite candy that everyone loves and nobody hates. All right, gotta open up that candy corn, you know? As they say, um, I have to do, how do I open this? Ah, this thing would not open. All right, we got the candy corn. There's nothing I love in this world more than a, a, a good piece of candy corn. It's pretty good. Okay, so now that I have completed numbers 1, 2, and 3, I have to complete number 4. Number 4 on the list is to play a Halloween-themed game while listening to Halloween-themed music. I can do that. Okay, let's get some Halloween-themed music going here. We're playing some music. It's really spooky here. It's pretty scary. So right now I am on the website ABC yeah, where we are going to be playing Halloween themed games. Now if you don't know what ABC yeah is, I don't think I have any respect for you as a human being. You probably know what ABC yeah is if you ever used a computer at your school. Um, it, it's pretty much um, games for little kids in school. So I think that there is nothing better to do the night before Halloween um, than to do this. Uh, so let's start by playing Halloween Hop. It looks like a pretty fun game, so that's what we're going to play today. Well, that was a lot of fun. Okay, so it was so much fun there. Um, that I think I'm gonna do another game. Okay, we are going to play the game Make a Pumpkin. That actually looks kind of fun, so let's do it. Okay, here is the pumpkin. This is what I want. I want my pumpkin to look like that. It needs an eye. Okay, what eyes look good here? Those? Maybe those, perhaps. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, I gotta get some noses on this thing. 
All right, I think that that's a cool nose. Um, I need to put a mouth on it. How does that look? Oh, I can put glasses. That's pretty neat. That looks cool. Um, now I gotta give him a little hat, all right? In, in the spirit of Halloween, I'll give him a nice Christmas hat. Um, so that 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 that's my that's my pumpkin. I think it looks. It looks really, really nice. Okay, now that I'm done with number four, we can turn off the spooky Halloween music. Um, it's time for number five. Okay, so number five is to do some Halloween decorating. Um, now, I'm really, really... Um, this one's going to probably take the longest out of all of them, but I can try my best here. Um, all right, let's just do this. Um... All done. All done. All I have to do is put this on the wall. Put this on the wall. That's what I have to do. We'll put it like right. How, how about right here? How's that looking? Um, we'll, we'll put it right there. We're going to stick it. Stick it right there. Um, there we go. All right. Now that number five is done, we just got two done in one filming session so i think that's pretty cool but now it's time uh for, for number six and i need to do some sort of halloween craft and i'm really looking forward to this one although i can't do it sitting here at my desk i'm gonna go over um to the table over there i'm gonna go over there um so yeah let's go over there i'm over here now i have a knife and i'm not afraid to use it on on on, on this on this pumpkin so what i'm gonna do today is i'm gonna use this knife to carve a pumpkin uh, uh, you've probably ever you've probably seen people carve pumpkins or maybe you've carved a pumpkin it's a pretty fun activity um so i'm gonna use this knife and carve the pumpkin actually i don't know maybe not because i don't really trust myself with a knife i probably shouldn't even be holding this right now uh so we're just gonna put it over there okay so today we're not gonna be using a knife but that's okay because i have a, a sharpie i'm gonna draw with the sharpie marker on the pumpkin and it's not going to be as cool but i i really don't care so i need to color on this this pumpkin here um i'm gonna draw the eyes that looks like a, a really good eye and then i'm gonna draw another eye look at how those are the same exact size and shape and now i'm gonna draw a mouth Okay, it's awesome. Okay, so the pumpkin is looking great, but I think I need to do a little more. I think I need to, to actually color it in now with the, with the Sharpie. Um, so that, that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, so I'm done with my pumpkin, and um, look at look at how this is. I think it it just it looks it looks so it looks so good. Okay, so I need to rant. So I went to Target yesterday because number seven on the list is to get my dog a Halloween costume. And I was at Target a few weeks ago, and when I was there, I saw I saw that they actually had um in stock a bunch of really cute dog costumes and i was gonna just get one of those for my dog and it would be all cool and i wasn't even able to get the costumes and it's because they got rid of all of their halloween decorations to put up christmas decorations i hate how like retailers market christmas stuff before before november this isn't it's not even november yet it's 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 still halloween season i honestly just wanted to rant about that so unfortunately we're gonna have to skip number seven. I know, sad. You're probably crying right now. Okay, anyway, number eight on the list is to say the word boo on Halloween, which I imagine might be might be like the hardest one of them all. I, I have to, uh, tomorrow is Halloween, and tomorrow I have to say boo. It's gonna be pretty difficult. But I thought, you know, why not have some friends of mine also send in videos of them saying boo? Because boo... It's scary. It's it's a scary word and you're going to get scared. 
Boo. 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 Well, anyways, that's the end of today's stellar video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. I would really appreciate that. Um, this video took a lot of work, a lot of effort, so I'd appreciate just a like. That'd mean a lot to me. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel here if you're new. Turn on notifications. That way, YouTube lets you know whenever I post a new video. You can go follow me on Instagram, and you can go follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can join my Discord server, link in description. Subscribe to my second channel, link in description. Um, and yeah, remember, one like equals one Halloween costume that my dog will actually get. Um, alright, I hope you have a good day. I gotta go. I gotta go. Um, I gotta go. Bye!